Hi everybody, thanks for coming back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought it would be really fun to do a anti-haul. Because as you guys know, I am on a no-buy. So I am not purchasing a single ounce of makeup with my own money this whole entire year of 2017. So far it's actually going pretty well, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about all the things that I know I am not going to be tempted by, all the things that I absolutely don't want to waste my money on. I will be including pictures um, on this video, and if you want to see what I don't want to buy, then just keep watching. So the first item is going to be the Sephora Pro Dimensional Highlighting Palette. It has like six highlighters, I think, and the reason why I'm not buying this is number one, because I have something similar. It is the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit. I use this so often, and I think nobody can do it as good as Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just think her highlighters are amazing. They're always so unique, and I feel like everybody's trying to copy her after that. And I just, I love that palette so much, and I just think it's so unique, like I said. Um, so it's too similar, and again, nobody can do it like Anastasia Beverly Hills. And, and I don't know anything about the Sephora highlighters to begin with, so if you know something, if they're good or whatever, let me know down below. Maybe I do need to change my mind and get it. I don't know. Next up is the Clinique crayons, and those things just look so gimmicky, and like I feel like it's kind of making fun of makeup in a way because, I don't know, it's like a childish sort of thing. It's cute, yeah, but like crayons, really? Like we're not putting wax on our lips. I don't know, that's what makes me think of it. People really like that like tchotchke, like, like uh, what do you call it, trinket kind of things that remind them of childhood I guess but not me I don't like that I'm definitely staying away from that also I've heard they're very sheer and I like a little bit more punch to my lipstick as you can see about what I'm wearing today by the way what I'm wearing today is the Maybelline Bold's lipstick in mauve it I really really like this formula and let's see what's next so from here on out I went on trend mood one her Instagram page because she has the most up makeup updates I've ever seen on anybody's account um, and I went through and I saw some things that sort of looked really cool but I knew I wouldn't get um, so that's where these come from first is the Be Lit Legendary Lip Pigment by Smashbox they look really cool don't get me wrong but those colors are like gold and blue and orange <laughs> I'm like um I think I'm good I think I'm just gonna stick to my mauve reds and nudes I think that's what I'm going to plan on doing, so unless I hear like really amazing things, and if there is a good nude in that selection, maybe I'll try it. But again, I'm on a no-buy, so I'm not actually going to buy these things. Okay, the next thing I'm like this close to breaking my no-buy about, but I will not, it's the Kylie Cosmetics, the um, Valentine's Day, all her, the whole makeup collection there. Oh my god, that palette looks amazing because it comes with face products, and then... All of her lip products look really good too. I, I haven't tried any of them, but I'm trying to stay strong, but there might be something in there that I really, really want. Oh, that's really hard for me to, to not buy, but oh, it looks so pretty, all the swatches. I have her holiday palette and I really like it. I was just a little bit let down by the pigmentation in the palette, but I still love it and it's still good pigmentation, but the Instagram pictures made it seem like it was like, wow, like Juvia's Place kind of pigmentation there. And it's not the same quality. It looked really good, don't get me wrong. But yeah, that's my situation on the Kylie stuff. I would purchase it if I was not on a no-buy. For sure, I would already have it. <laughs> I don't know, did it come out yet? I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Okay, so last but not least is the Juvia's Place Saharian palette, and that is because I have the Masquerade and I have the Nubian too, and I feel like that is a really good variety, and I feel like between the two of those, I kind of have a mixture of the, the shades that are in the new palette. It looks gorgeous, but I just can't get myself to buy it because I have those two, and I am just really, really in love with those, so that's why I'm staying away from that. Those shadows are like top notch though. If you haven't tried them, you can feel free to exit this video and go buy them. I will not feel bad, I promise. <laughs> um, but okay, so also in this video, I just want to mention like how I'm doing 
in my no buy because we have had a whole month go by where I have not purchased a single thing of makeup and I'm so proud of myself guys nothing no new makeup it's so awesome so let me tell you a little bit of a loophole that I had recently um so Canoe and I are in this no buy 2017 together and if we both want an item we said that we could go ahead and get it so we both wanted the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the glow kit in Sunbeam, I think it is. It's limited edition, so that was part of the reason why we both really wanted it. But she's raved about the glow kits, and I've raved about the glow kits, as you know. And I also got a gift card, so I thought, it's not really my money, so why not just treat myself? So that was the only thing that was, like, a setback, but it's, like, not even really because it's not my own money. I wouldn't have done it if I didn't have that gift card because I just don't feel like dropping $40 on a four pan of um, highlighters, but yeah. So the, the thing with me and my no buy for the whole year is that I am making minimum wage right now. Like literally minimum wage and it hurts guys. It hurts my wallet so bad. It hurts my mentality so bad. I'm trying to find a full time job so I can get out of this minimum wage situa situation. But since I have that situation in my head and locked and loaded in my head, I stay away from makeup. I have a good stash ahead of me. My weekly makeup baskets have really been helping me cycle through all of my stuff. And I'm really rediscovering everything. I love doing this sort of thing. And it's really, really motivating me. I am still following like Trend Mood 1 on Instagram just to like stay in the know because I kind of want to get into this business for my full time job. Cross my fingers guys. Um, but yeah, so just the fact that I'm making minimum wage is really setting me back from, you know, just dropping 60 bucks on an eyeshadow palette. I'm not buying every eyeshadow palette that I see. I have a good stash. I really, really do. And I'm really going to try to cycle through. So those are just some like tips and like things that I'm going through with uh, my no buy. If you want to follow me on Instagram, feel free to do so because I update you guys on what I've hit pan on and just some, you know, housekeeping things on there. But yeah, that was my little anti-haul and my no buy update of 2017. I really hope you guys like it. If you guys are going through a no buy 2017, please let me know how it's going and I would love to follow you if you are doing that. Um, and if you would like to do an anti-haul, please feel free to do so. I think they're really fun um, and they get you to kind of think about products a little bit differently. But yeah, I think that'll be it for me. So I will let you guys go. Um, if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that little bell in the bottom um, of the page because you'll be notified of my videos every time I upload so you don't miss one. And follow me on Instagram for daily updates and I will let you guys go. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye everyone. <laughs>